of YouTube, it's Danny. Uh, I'm using the GoPro, obviously it's mounted in my dash. Uh, I never said I was gonna be done using the GoPro for vlogging, but I uh, just said I was gonna use this camera primarily. But, you know, in cases of being in the car, I like using the GoPro if I can. Right now, I am currently on my way to Belton, Missouri, which is about 20 miles from Kansas City. There's a Macintosh G4 Cube that I'm going to pick up. Yes, a Cube. Really rare Macintosh computer. And I am on my way right now to the bank and then to go pick it up from this guy. So, yeah, pretty excited. And now we play the waiting game. He says he's about 30 minutes away. So, it is 90 degrees outside, but it feels like 1,000 degrees. Um, so I'm just gonna chill here with the air conditioner on. This is amusing until it gets there. So yeah. There she is, guys. Now, she's got some dead silverfish. I think that's what those are in there, those bugs. Uh, they're not roaches, they're silverfish. So, going to have to clean that out, because that's disgusting, but other than that, um, I got a G4 cube, but I'm pretty happy. If it never works, I don't care. Uh, I just want to have it to collect, really. So I'm happy. Easily worth 50 bucks. Easy. Well guys, it is a new day. It's nice and sunny. I didn't sleep very well, so I might take, I might take a nap before I uh, stream on Twitch with David DeFranco this afternoon. Can I just reiterate how lucky I've been this last week? iMac G5, even though it doesn't work, and even though the seller was a liar, and then the uh, PowerMac G4 Cube also doesn't work, but at least I wasn't lied to. But it is grimy and dirty. I can get those silverfish bug things out of there. They're stuck in between the, the plexiglass and then the cube itself. So I think if I take like an air gun and then some 409 to clean it, I'll be good to go. So all right now I'm about to head, about to, uh, head out to Sonic and get a uh, cherry limeade. So yeah. What's up you guys? Quick video. Well, it's part of the vlog, so it's not really a quick video. A quick clip, maybe. Anyway, got some stuff in the mail, so I'm just gonna open it real quick. None of this is going to warrant its own unboxing. So. If I get the package open, that would be nice. And in fact, I believe two of these Two out of three of these packages are for review items. So, okay. Very nice. It is a wallet. You know me and my wallets, guys. I get bored with the wallet, so I get a new one quite often. And this one 
is Link. So very cool. And then there's the inside. So single fold, uh, no no divider. But uh, oh, and then there's Link up in the card holder part. So yeah, very cool. Very nice. Cool. All right. Next up. This is definitely a review unit. I get to keep, but it's they wanted my uh, honest review for Amazon. So I said, sure, why not send free stuff? So all it is measuring spoons, uh, which I needed anyway because I have lost all of mine. And so the cool thing about this one is it's on a key ring, so harder to lose. But yeah, all different sizes. It'll come in handy in the kitchen. One more thing. Oops, sorry, I bumped the table. I guess they saw my uh, my stay hydrated video, so this company reached out to me and wanted to send me their version of the infusion water bottle, where you can put fruit in the middle, and it's supposed to make your water taste fruity. Uh, the one I have, the Vita Fusion, I think is what it's called. I put raspberries in it, and it didn't taste very good. So I'm not really big on these, but hey. Is for free. They want me just. They just want my review on it, so I'll do a review. Keep the bottle. There you go. Good morning, guys. I'm currently heading to meet my mom. Um, then I'm gonna go to Walmart. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a cool breezy morning on this fine. August 6th, August 6th, yes, August 6th, so, uh, I went Pokemon hunting last night in this neighborhood, caught an Ivysaur and a Cubone, and I caught several Eevee, which gave me a Jolteon, love Pokemon Go, so much fun. I might sometime this weekend. I might go downtown and see what else I can get. So, but yeah. So, <clears throat> I got word from my mom this morning that my great grandma, uh, she's not doing well. Um, which I posted on Facebook. If you are friends with me on Facebook, then you probably know already. But uh, she's been in the hospital. Now she's in a nursing home, a rehabilitation nursing home, I should say, because they have to keep a constant watch on her. Um, but she's uh, basically she's got dementia and Alzheimer's, so she's like 10% there, 10% of the time. Most of the time she doesn't know who she is or who we are. So it's it's sad when you know old people get this way because they're eventually going to die um but but before that happens you know they have to go do this torture of not knowing what anything is or who anybody is uh it sucks it really does it, it sucks it's part of life i don't know what causes this stuff i don't know if it's the stuff we eat which you know it, we have so many chemicals in our lives you know it's it's crazy that's why people push for organic but even then you know the air we breathe the water we drink you know it just it is what it is we have all these conveniences in life but half of them kill us you know and it, it sucks but what can you do you know i mean i don't know it just it, it sucks it really does i need a haircut um but i don't want to sound harsh but you know i just hope she doesn't have to suffer for too long i'd rather her rest in peace then be a you know be alive and in, 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 in torment. There's no fun in that. There's no way to live. 
though. Which is why I'm highly for the assisted suicide controver controversial option that I think Oregon has. Where if, uh, you know, if, if you have like, you know, terminal cancer, cancer or whatever and it's just painful to live every day that you can take this pill and it basically puts you to sleep and kills you. And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I'm not a religious person, but I don't think God intended for us to be in torment constantly in pain like that. And so while, you know, people say suicide is a, is a sin, I don't think assisted suicide counts. And that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I'm not God. But I don't think I don't think assisted suicide counts in, in when it comes to constant, endless pain with no break. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's what the severe cases of cancer do. Uh, MS, you know, MS. Eventually, you lose your motor skills. You know, so you can't move. That's no way to live. So I don't know. That's just my thought. You know. I think ALS is similar to that. I think I could be wrong. It has something to do with movement, though. So, you know, you don't have to agree with me, but I don't think that car is about to pull in front of me. Anyway, I don't think, you know, if suicide is a sin, I don't think God would count assisted suicide against you because of the situation. That's just my two cents. I don't think God wants his people to suffer. But it's probably the most I've ever talked about God in a, in a YouTube video. Again, I'm not religious, you know. I grew up in a, in a Christian church, but no effect on me, you know. I do what I want. Probably not the best thing. <coughs> but, you know, regardless of that, I don't know, man. So I would hope that God didn't hold it against you. I really would. Anyway, on to another topic. Call those pretty ones Chevys. I am down, I'm going down Shiny Mission Parkway in uh, Overland Park. And this is the this is the place to buy a car. Okay, certain cars. If you want to buy a Kia or a Chevy or a Nissan, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, if you keep going that way, you can buy Benz or a Mini. I think that's it. So, uh, back when they made Hummers, there was the Hummer dealership back there. It's now Kia. So, uh, or if you want to buy a classic car, there's KC Classics LLC. Really nice cars in there. Really expensive. Then you got Raymond's Automotive, which is a bunch of mixed up cars. But as far as dealerships, you know, manufactured dealerships, Chevy, Kia, Hyundai, Nissan, all over there. Merriam. Merriam, Merriam, Kansas, which is right next to Ikea, basically. That's where you buy Ferraris and Maseratis and Mercedes-Benz, uh, Land Rover, Range Rover. So, oh, and Porsche. Porsche is a big one. Jaguar, too. So, I mean, that's my, that's my area. You know, that's, that's where I live around that area. So, naturally, my car tastes are, you know, those. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing today. I know tonight, me and David and a bunch of our other friends are all gonna be on Grand Theft Auto, which I'll be probably streaming on Twitch since I can't stream on YouTube because I'm on house arrest because of Apple's copyright strike. I call it house arrest, but I don't know. Um, but they, if you haven't heard already, yeah, I got a copyright strike from Apple over a WWDC video. Which, you know, after seeing why, I, I kind of understand why they did it. But I don't think YouTube should have took my live streaming away. But at least they didn't take my video uploading away, and they could have. That's what sucks about that. So, it could be worse, guys. It could be way worse. I could not be, like, making any videos three months. I would go insane. So I'll take I'll take my punishment. 
it could be worse. I can I can deal with no live streaming on YouTube. I'll just do it on Twitch for three months. It's yeah, I get it back on my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I'm no longer having a strike on my birthday as long as I don't do anything else. So I should be good. I've combed through my videos and made sure that I'm good. I just hope I'm good. So but so far so good. You know, it's been almost a week since it happened. And I've not heard anything else from YouTube, so I'm just going to assume we're okay with everything else. So I like I'm like being really anal about what's in my videos now. And I hate using that word. Um, but yeah, I just I make sure the thumbnails are all mine now, except for like two or three that nobody will care about. But I make sure all the thumbnails are mine. I make my own thumbnails. I use. Um, I'm down to using royalty free approved YouTube music in my videos so you hear the intro that's by Otis, Otis McDonald I want to say is his name Otis McDonald he's authorized his music creativity for YouTube audio and I love the, I love the, the other one I forgot the other one's called the one I use for my intro and outro I forgot the name of it but I use drive for a lot of my unboxing videos so you hear that just simple beat but it's a hip hop beat Otis, if you ever see this video, which I don't know if you will, bro, your music is amazing. And I'm glad you made it royalty free so I can use it as much as I need to. And believe me, I'm going to do just that if I haven't already, which I already have. So, yeah. So, yeah. Vlogging while driving. That's why I put this mount here. I love this GoPro. I really do. And I got, I got the iPhone mount there, but I don't use it as much now that I have the GoPro here. So... I love it though, because I can concentrate on driving, I won't get pulled over, because I'm not distracted, and I can talk away. It's great. That's an empty lot. Used to be a house there. Then we lose it down though. That's a big house, damn! Damn dude! Oh wow, he got a huge ass garage in the back. Looks like he got two houses in one. Some people just they some people flex on their money in Oven Park. I love it. You know, they could be rich or they could just buy regular house and expand and that's what that guy did back there so very nice I'm almost to Walmart I'm actually meeting mom at Walmart so I have yet to go to sleep I should probably do that at some point I haven't been sleeping a lot lately it's just been, it's been my mind just constantly constantly you know so looking for any way I can to make extra money because I, I want to spend, I want to spend more on my YouTube channel, but I, I don't want to do it until after I know that strike is gone, so I don't waste money and get like two more strikes and end my YouTube channel. That would suck. Because I'm looking to get the Sony A7 DSLR, and it's like 1,300 bucks or something like that. So it'll be down the road, but it'll make my videos look like Casey Neistat quality, you know? Which would be nice. You know, and my subscriber count is picking up, which I also uh, like. So, thank you to all who have subscribed. I hope you stay around. I hope I don't piss you off. I'm trying to be less blunt and more friendly. So, <laughs> that's a challenge. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll stick around. That'd be great. Got traffic coming, so let's take a second. Big old Chevy truck. Oh, it's been hit, too. It's a new truck. Two guys has been hit. After this SUV, if they ever get, I should have went before. We did. All right, cool. We can go down. All right. Nissan Armada. That's actually a nice SUV. I like those. Okay. Now we're about to pass the <laughs> J.C. Penney Outlet store, which has been closed for quite a while. This store is so old; it's like 70s. You know. I don't know if you can see it or not. You probably can see it a little bit because it's the fish islands but yeah it's been jc penny forever and it was jc's five something discount right before they closed and now it's just closed so old part of town this walmart i'm about to go into is old as hell also This is 
actually this this is the one where I got my first Game Boy Pocket. My first Game Boy was the Game Boy Pocket. And this is the Walmart that I also got uh, Pokemon Blue. And my brother got Pokemon Red. And I got a red Game Boy and he got a black Game Boy Pocket. So I want another Game Boy Pocket. I wish I still had my red one. But I'm, I traded it in a long time ago to then what was called Funko Land for a Game Boy Color. I still have the Game Boy Color. I never did get rid of that. It's uh, the lime green one. I did, and then I got, I got an advance for Christmas, and it was the blue one. And then I got rid of that. I traded that in for PS2, I want to say. Dude, I miss some of the old games. But I, you know what? I'm gaming for life. I don't care. I don't care if I'm 15 gaming. Gaming is amazing. And, you know, people who hate gaming are stupid. Another topic. All right, so I'm here at Walmart. Finally, I'm going back, back to the park. Assuming you don't hit anything. I never do hardly, except one time I did hit a pole. That's a ball joint you hear squeaking. If you can hear that, I think I, I assume you can. So, but yeah, there's we no mom now. 906, she should be here any second. So, in soon. I'm currently watching a, um, I'm on eBay, on the eBay app on my watch here. I'm watching a vintage Apple IIc uh, computer with monitor, power supply, and it's been tested and it works and it's got, I think, OS, Mac OS 7 on it or something like that. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not because it's kind of expensive, but I might. So, I just had some Jehovah's Witnesses come over here with some pamphlets. I told them no. I, I thanked him, but I was nice. Normally I'm not, but he was a nice guy. I said, no, thank you. I'm not interested. He asked me if I'm sure, and I said, yeah, I'm sure. Also, there's the shitty version of my car over there. Anyway. Oh, phone's ringing. All right, I gotta take this, mom. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, that's the shitty version of my car. My car is newer and better looking, and that all dented up and everything. This bitch knows what she's doing. She's been driving around this parking lot for like ten minutes. She's going around in circles with her hazards on, and it doesn't make any sense. Like, stop it. I don't understand why people do that shit. I don't get it. Like, where are their stupid-ass drivers? It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Whatever. Currently playing Pokemon Go. <clears throat> I just woke up not long ago. Uh, yeah, I fell asleep at, like, noon. And it's now... 106 in the morning, so yeah, my, my days are really flipped. Uh, didn't end up playing Grand Theft Auto. Um, let me turn it down. I didn't end up playing, I didn't end up playing Grand Theft Auto. None of us, none of us did. Uh, it was just, you know, we all were into various things, so it didn't really happen. Um, so yeah. I'm just playing this. I might go to my brother's house, but I'm not sure yet. So, right now I'm at McDonald's. About to eat. What I call breakfast, I guess. What up, guys? Just bought some Lipton green tea. And other things. Hold on, I'm take a drink. Ah. That's the good stuff right there. I'm going to turn off the air and put down the windows because it's actually cool outside. So, I don't know, I haven't told a ton of people, but I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> all this Pokemon hype has got me wanting to get back into collecting the cards like I did when I was younger. So, I have a binder on the way from Amazon, as well as I just bought a bunch of sleeves for the binder so I can put the cards in. Um, but I figured... And I know there's going to be people making fun of me because it's Pokemon. Mm, fucking nerd. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't care. Say what you're going to say. I'm going to do what I want to do. So, 
Um, I figure if most of us can play Pokemon Go in our 20s and 30s, why not collect the cards? Who cares, right? I don't. So, just like old times, I bought a ton of them. Yeah, I got 50 cards here. So, I figure why not? Let's just let's just open them. Yeah, let's see what I get. Uh, so, I'll just. They package them different nowadays. It used to be just aluminum foil or whatever. And now it's like cardboard. I guess people were stealing. I don't know. They don't make it very easy to open. That's for sure. And I don't want to damage the card on the inside. I'll do that. Cool. Way, put the wrapper there and let's open these up oh that's how they open all right fair enough I think that's how they open yeah all right and then on the inside is the actual pack okay so I don't know why they do that that way now but again it probably has something to do with theft so let's open up these cards and see what I got. And as you know, with each pack, there's one that's always rare. Uh, so first off, got coughing and snivy. I'm not gonna go through all these. I'll just pick out the good ones. There's a diglet seal. Finnegan. Oh, here's my. I think this is the rare one. No, it's the next one. Okay, so. Uh, Bronzor is a reverse hollow. I don't know how well you can see that. But there's that. And the rare one is. Barbacle. He must be from the new. Yeah, he's, this has a star on it. He must be from the new game. So I don't know that one. But cool. And I got a trainer card. Oh, what's this little guy? I don't know who Cecino is, but there's that. Energy, and then what is this? Advertisement, really? Oh, there's a code for uh, the booster bag I can play online. So it's not complete advertisement. Okay, cool. There's the first pack. That's done. All right. This one's not wrapped in that plastic, so that's good. Should be able to just rip it open. No problem. By the way, guys, it's like 4.20 in the morning. <laughs> I uh, slept so... I think I already said it in the last clip, but I slept so late that, yeah, I'm just wide awake now, you know. So, and that's fine, whatever. All right. This one's the Steam Siege expansion it just came out I, I think this is the one that just came out so we'll see what we got in here you know half the fun of these is you know the randomness litwick nose pass i remember nose pass chimchar i remember uh nidoran uh male nidoran clauncher all right and here's my reverse hollow is uh Joltik, which I also remember from I think it was gold and silver, but it could have been later. And then my rare is Cobalion. Um, so there's that. There's a lot of reverse hollows, it looks like, uh, with these packs. Fetchender, I don't know what that is. Duat, I remember. Azumarill, which is from Merrill. So I guess Meryl evolves now. That, that, that been out of the loop a long time. And he's got... He's part water, part something else. You see the card's half and half. That's kind of cool. So and then there's the code to play online. Okay. Next one. Breakpoint is this pack. That's what it looks like. So, Well, there's four different designs. This is one of them. I just picked one of each. And that was that. I figured that's pretty good to start off with. So... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, there's the brake point package. And it's a nice breezy morning, basically morning. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Oh, I kind of bent that one. That's just a common. Anyway. Okay, so we've got, never heard of it, Pancham. Growlithe, Esper, Numa, I know all these. But okay, I don't know who. That's a Pokemon? Honedge? Honage is a Pokemon? It doesn't look like one. Whatever. Uh, my reverse hollow is uh, Heatmore. And my rare is Greninja. None of my rares are shiny. It's so weird. Maybe they're not doing it that way anymore. I don't know. There's Scissor Spirit Link, Gyarados Spirit Link. I got those in the. That's funny. I got two item cards in the same pack, and they're both Spirit Links. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what those do yet, but cool. So there's that. All right, we still got two more. This is the Breakthrough uh, expansion. So we'll see what's in this. And I like how the Pokemon cards, like the prices have gone down. Like it used to be, I think it was $5.99 when I was a kid, and now it's like $4.19. So, at least at Walmart, that was just where I'm at. So, okay. Oh, uh, look at that. It has Mewtwo in the front of this package. That's pretty cool. So, again, I hope you can see that. I know that there's light behind me, but a little bit in front of me too. So, you might see it. I don't know. Okay. Okay, first card is Hoot Hoot. I remember this one. Miss 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 Jeevious, Miss Drevious. Miss Drevious. Miss Drevious. Creepy looking Pokemon. Froki. Oh, actually. Allegium. I don't know. <laughs> My reverse hollow is Giovanni scheme. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Nice. And my rare is a uh, semi smear, which is cool. Uh, and then I got pincer, go go at Quilava. That's nice. Quilava. I like that a lot. So yeah, very cool. So there's that one. All right. Last pack. This is the XY Furious Fist expansion. So we'll check these out. Man, when I was a kid, we used to buy Pokemon cards at 7-Eleven. Yeah, I don't. I bet 7-Eleven don't even carry them anymore. Uh, and here's what the XY Furious Fixes look like. I mean, wait for these people to drive by. Everybody's staring at me. The XY Furious Fist. There you go. That's what it looks like. So, you know what? I, I know why people stare at me because they see me sitting here with my lights on. I have a look. It looks like an ex police car, or it looks like a police car. But it's the Grand Marquis, which looks like the Crown Vic. Um, but they see me sitting here with my lights on, and I got like 500 screens on my dash, plus the camera. So, I probably think I'm a cop. Anyway, uh, Scaruppy, Drowsy, Bell Sprout, Lickitung. That's nice. Okay, what, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Noli Bat. Okay, here's what I said. What the heck, too? Look at this. I have regular Bell Sprout. Okay, and in the same pack, I got Reverse Hollow Bell Sprout. That's crazy. And then Mag Mortar for the uh, rare. And then Amira XL Gore Trainer card, which is Mountain Ring, which is uh, an arena. So cool. All right. 
I'm very satisfied with all the cards I got. Not bad. Not bad. So, I think with the commons and the uncommons, I need to get a, I need to get a deck, uh, just a storm. Or, you know what, I'll probably just get like a container and just put them in there. Um, yeah. But as far as the reverse hollows and the rares, they'll be going in my book uh, that I'm building. So, very nice, very cool. That's a, I say pretty much a success. So not bad. So I know this. The title of this uh, vlog was "I found a Power Mac G5 Cube" or whatever I'm going to title it. And uh, I know, or G4 Cube. And I did. Uh, but that's all I'm going to do for that for this vlog. So because that's the first thing I did was I found the G4 Cube on Craigslist. I actually got finally got in contact with the guy after four days. Man, he was hard to keep get a hold of and stay uh, kept a hold of. So, I mean, the, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, the next vlog is gonna be all about the Power Mac um, G4 Cube. So, which I'll actually start filming later today. Um, so, this this vlog's gonna come out. Let's see, I got videos for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I think Thursday. So this will come out Friday of this next I mean, week. So you'll see it on Friday in the future. <laughs> so anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit like. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully, I can please you in the future. So, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next video. Peace.